You opening it? Here, you want some help? Watch. Blue hat, green hat. So we decided we want to see a doctor. In about 10 minutes, we'll know whether it's strep throat or not strep throat. So little Miss Laura is sick today. So tell me about your body. Where are you hurting? So, tummy, and a little tiny bit my forehead. You have a fever too, huh? So yesterday, Laura came up crying and said, just out of nowhere, I hadn't heard anything about it all day. She said, mom, my throat hurts. And I said, okay, open up. And she opened up her mouth. It was bright red. So Lori doesn't get to go to summer camp today. How are you feeling about that? Sad. Hopefully with a lot of rest, you'll get to go tomorrow. Okay. So we've got a few piles of books to get us started. Does anything sound yummy to eat today? At least the little mini quiches. They're literally mini and they have crust around them. They're yeah. so cute. And watermelon. <clears throat> Watermelon's nice because it can slide down your throat pretty easy. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take care of Laura today and hope she gets better. And we're also gonna hope that nobody else gets sick. Janae's invented a fun game this morning. She's laying out playing cards and putting blocks on top of them. Great idea. Numbers eight and nine, those are good numbers. We have one deck of cards that is missing some cards, so that is designated as Janae's playing deck. And she can play with it as much as she want because it's already not functional. I love watching kids play. It's so cool to see a little peek into their brain and what's going on in there. Did Janae spin? <laughs> what are you drawing a picture of? Her? Do you know her name? I forgot it. It's Belle. She's so beautiful. What movie is Belle from? The movie Belle. It's called Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Well, with Laura's sick, we're having a really low-key day at home. I've done really exciting things like unload the dishwasher and I meal plan for the whole week and now I'm working on my shopping list. So I'm getting stuff done while still hanging with the girls quite a bit. Are you showing me your picture? Way to go, Janae. I like seeing the work that you do. So Janae was in our pantry and discovered a little like worm centipede, I don't know what it is. She's really concerned about it and she was immediately like, we need to get dad, we need to get dad. He needs to fix this problem. Should I fix it? Yeah. Is there, where is it? Yeah. Is that a little wormy worm? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get the wormy worm. Should we put it outside? Yeah. Okay. No, my house. Not in your house. Bye bye. Bye bye. Did daddy save you? Yeah, me dad. Nay's dad did it? Yeah. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. So you can always tell when your kids are sick. When it's lunchtime and they don't want to eat anything. Here's Laura's bowl. And this was her breakfast. Well, although Laura didn't want her lunch, she is having... A go-gurt because it feels better. Feels good and on your throat? I don't have to bite go-gurt. Is it a frozen go-gurt? It's really hard that sicknesses are contagious because our kids want to be together. It's hard to keep them apart. Is she your friend? All right, now it's nap time. We're getting ready to put down Janae and Laura. You have a good nap, okay? Drink up all that milk and Pedia, sure. There's three headlights up front, four taillights in back. Blue hat, green hat by Sandra Blanton. So we've been really trying to limit our screen hat, time with Janae. Hat, when we put hat. her down. Oops. So I just went in to ask Jeremy a question and he looked at me and he said, we match which I hadn't realized. I mean, it's the opposite, the inverse. White with black stripes, black with white stripes. I think that means we're like in sync. Yin yang. Okay, this is so funny. I just went to Laura's classroom to pick her up from school and her teacher was like, what are you doing here? Is Laura okay? And I was like, no, I'm picking her up. And she goes, no, you didn't bring her today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was just on autopilot. I always pick up the big kids first and then we all walk together to go pick up Laura and I was just, totally on autopilot. So there the teacher was so scared. I'm like, no, 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 I actually, I do know where Laura is. She's at home, she's napping, she's with Jeremy. But anyway, I'm feeling like I'm losing my mind just a little bit. Well, Laura woke up from her nap and she is not feeling better. In fact, I think she's feeling worse. Her 
throat is so red and swollen and she still has a fever. So we decided we want to see a doctor and we are actually going to try using a telemedicine service that has been highly recommended by our friends here in Puerto Rico. And so we are going to be video chatting with the doctor in, they said about 15 minutes. This is one of those times when I think technology is amazing. Are you ready to see the doctor? All you gotta do is lay there. Can you do it? Definitely had hoped Laura would be feeling better by now. I know. So Lisa and the kids are back from school. What are you making? I'm making a dip for mom. Is this for apple slices? Mm -hmm. So it's marshmallow cream and cream cheese. So I put in a little more than half of the cream cheese. Cream cheese, which is not what it come out. Sounds like Janae just woke up. Let me go check it out. Hey, Nene, how was your nap? Great. You opening it? Here, you want some help? Watch. <laughs> Mom, did you see that? Did it open? <laughs> Hello. Thank you for meeting with us. Like, do we need to test for strep? That was my concern is if we didn't find out what she had, because that's going to be pretty contagious to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So Isaac is always doing research and asking people poll questions in our family. What are we doing right now? Rank your top three of these. Skittles, Starburst, Fruit Roll, Gummy Bear, Twizzler, and then you did one over here. Mm -hmm. Snickers, Kit Kat, Twix, Milky Way, Hershey. Milky Way with six, Snickers with five, Twix four and a half, Kit Kat got one and a half, and Hershey's got half a point. I'm gonna go Starburst, Skittles, Gummy Bear, Fruit Roll, Twizzler. That's too hard. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I think. I'll do that. Well, we're doing leftovers for dinner tonight, which is nice. We just pop it in and warm it up. Missed you. Missed you. Did you miss me? Yeah. I missed you too. So with Laura being sick, she's been watching some of our old home videos. Oh, come on. Thank you, Elise. I remember when I was growing up, I loved watching home videos. I'm having a really great day today, and I attribute that to two different things. Number one, last night before I went to bed, I really scheduled my day today. Like, I really made a to-do list, and I prioritized a to-do list, and I even, like, tentatively was looking at this schedule, thinking about when I would do different things. So I've gotten stuff done. Like, I was organized ahead of time and that makes such a big difference on a day. Also, I prioritized scripture study. I put it in at the beginning of the day instead of waiting until the end of the day when I was exhausted. And you know, Laura's not feeling well. She just sat next to me and she was coloring and I was reading my scriptures and I'm doing a really fun thing right now where I'm reading through the Bible, the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Bible and in the New International Version of the Bible. And I just love reading different editions of the Bible. I feel like I really learn from the different translations and I'm keeping a journal alongside it. As I'm journaling each day when I open up my scripture journal, I write a question that I need help and inspiration on in my life. And then as I'm reading, I'm seeking that help and the answers that I'm able to feel as I'm reading and learning are just really touching my life in some beautiful ways. I just finished the book Tuesdays with Maury and it's about a professor who gets ALS and talks about facing this terminal disease where he knows he's going to die and the lessons that he learned in life. And there's an interview that he did on TV I was watching. Maybe you want to go on just to be an inspiration to other people. The book was really inspiring to me. Definitely makes me want to be a better person and think a lot about my relationships with others, about love, and to try to continue to focus on the things that matter most and not get so stressed out and hung up by the things that are fleeting. And in my opinion, I think the things that matter most are love and relationships. Our younger kids are asleep, but Isaac and Elise are up. And apparently Isaac has invented a new game. I call it Disney Quattro Tate. Quattro in English is four. Every four turns, you can rotate your cards to try to like be strategic. Then you can't switch it for the next four turns. I love how 
how creative you guys are. Just make your own game. So our doctor has a strep kit where we were able to take some saliva from Laura's throat, put it into the chemicals, and then in about 10 minutes, we'll know whether it's strep throat or not strep throat. It's amazing that we have that kind of technology to get those kinds of answers so quick. Just really grateful for our modern medicine. And one of the main advantages of getting the test is since we have other kids that might be getting sick, then we'll also know if they need certain medication or to take care of it, depending on what sickness it is. So it looks like she does have strep. We've had strep throat. That is the worst. That also means our next week or two is not going to be very good. It's definitely strep. I'm so grateful that we decided to have her checked out because strep is miserable and I'm so glad we can get some antibiotics on board. You're going to get feeling better, okay? You also have an alley on your chin. Man, let's go to bed. Good night, Jay. How's out? Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, yeah! I hope it's not tornado season. Jinx! 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 Jinx!